Hey guys, so I am here to film my favorites. I was not able to film, or I filmed my January, January period, but I wasn't able to put it up in time. So I'm just going to do kind of like a combination of my January and February favorites and show you what I've been loving for the past couple months. So I'm going to just go with go ahead and get into it so the video is not crazy long so yeah i'm gonna get into my favorites and i do have two unfavorites that i'll share at the end of the video so yeah my first favorite has to be i guess i'll show you both um these cream of nature products from the straight from eden line this is their new line it is um more of like a natural based product line that cream of nature came out with but it's really nice because it's geared towards relaxed hair um, my specific two favorites from the whole line will have to be the um, plant derived tangling leave-in conditioner this leave-in conditioner is so amazing it's so so good I love it um, it's not heavy I really can't stand a lot of leave-in conditioners because they leave my hair feeling heavy or like when I blow dry my hair they leave like a film on my hair so this is like one of the first leave-in conditioners that I absolutely love I even used it on last night I went ahead and I, I co-washed my extensions and I actually sprayed this on it and it made my hair my um, extension super soft I spray it on my own hair before I blow dry and it helps with the you know moisture loss when you're blow drying your hair it's just a really good product that it's really liquidy but it, it's really good it has a coconut avocado and olive oils um, that run throughout the whole line but this is good stuff and then the next thing that I absolutely love would have to be the plant derived repairing oil again it has the coconut avocado and olive oil in it and this is specifically alcohol free which is great you don't want to have um, especially in something that you're trying to moisturize your hair with you don't want to have a lot of alcohols alcohols are super drying uh, but this doesn't have any alcohol in it and it's really good and I use it every single day and I've only used that much so a little bit goes a long way and it doesn't weigh your hair down even me using this every day on my you know relaxed hair that I wear straight using it every night um at the end of the week my hair is not like really greasy and weighed down and it doesn't feel like it has a ton of product buildup on it so i absolutely love this and the way that the whole line smells it's just but yeah this product is really really good and i recommend it like i recommend it to everyone okay so moving on along i am do i have any other hair products um no no more hair products we're gonna get into skincare so I have been loving um, this I've only been using it for a week but I love it um, or two weeks this is the Estee Lauder advanced night repair I think everyone and their mom knows this serum um, it's been around for a really long time but it's really 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 good and you just put it on your skin at night time it's a really good serum it doesn't feel like anything it doesn't break you out it's not heavy and it sits really well under moisturizer so I really like it a lot so um, my next skincare item has to be the Kiehl's that I've been loving. It's the Kiehl's Sodium PCA Oil-Free Moisturizer. This is for normal to oily skin, not for dry skin. I have really oily skin. And I was using the, um, oh you can't even see that, but I was using the um, Kiehl's, it's the moisturizer that they're known for. I'm drawing, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. The Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Um, but I switched to this one. I ran out of that one, and instead of rebuying the Ultra Facial Cream, I got the Sodium PCA Cream because it says it's for more oily skin. I like it. I think I might like the Ultra Facial Cream a little bit better, but this is good. I got the big size. Um, I kind of wish I got the smaller, but I'll go through this and then go back to the Ultra Facial Cream. But they're both good. It doesn't break me out, and it gets, gives good moisture. It's just I prefer the texture of the Ultra Facial Cream more. To beauty products, my first favorite has to be the Dior polish and I believe this one is called incognito it's just a really pretty rose tone polish I don't have any polish on my nails right now but this I have been wearing non-stop like I'll take it off and I repaint it with the same color it's just so pretty and on like my skin tone it looks like a really natural pretty color love that color um, the next product is my favorite blush I've been wearing, my Dolly Mix. This is a sheer tone blush, but it's so pigmented, and it's like 
super duper pink and on my skin it looks really good and if you aren't afraid of color this is a really pretty blush it makes your skin look like fresh and I just really like how this looks it, it reminds me of like spring and summer and I'm already um, you know ready to go into spring and summer um, I can't wait but love that color this one is again dolly mix I love this palette this is the Lorac um, little lace palette in ravish I have been wearing this so much and I got it last month and I already have a dent in like most of the eyeshadows and it just it just works like every single day I have it on today I'll just pop this palette out and I can get any look that I'm going for with just this palette and I love it. I haven't been pulling out my naked palette my naked three this is what I've been honestly wearing and I love it the only thing is I broke it <laughs> I don't know how maybe I dropped it and I just I don't know but like the hinge on this side is broken now you can probably see it's cracked there so I mean it still closes but it's a little it's broken I'm so sad but I still love it okay my next item is a mascara it is the Le Volume de Chanel this is their newest mascara it's for volume let me show you brush it's just a really good mascara. It gives you like lots of volume. If you don't like that like spidery lash look, you might not like this, but it's really, really good. And I like the packaging. Who doesn't like Chanel packaging? But it's a good mascara. I like it a lot. And it's the same as if you bought like a Dior or a YSL or even like a Benefit mascara. They're all along the same lines. They're like $30, but well, well worth it. And this is a wet mascara, so it's gonna last a long time. I like it a lot. Okay, my next favorite in beauty has to be the Clinique. I'm sorry, I'm holding it upside down because I am finishing it. I only have a little bit left. This is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions. Um, this is a really good makeup. I'm a I actually pulled it out again because I want to go through all of my old makeup and kind of just use what I have. So I'm trying to finish up some of my foundations. So this was one of the foundations that I wanted to kind of get rid of and use up because I hadn't been using it a lot. And I really like it. Like... It gives my skin such a really nice look it's not it doesn't give you a matte look it's like a semi matte almost a satin finish and it makes my skin look perfect it's a pore makeup so it's designed to kind of camouflage your pores and over time it's supposed to help the look or appearance of bigger pores I don't really believe that but it does look really good on the skin and it, I, I, I like it so um, when it's gone maybe I'll repurchase it but it, it's good and I use the color 20 deep neutral my last beauty favorite has to be this beautiful fragrance right here. This is the, the um, Hermes. It's one of their. It's in the Garden Collection. If you guys know Hermes, you know how they have their like you know their regular things that they're known for the twenty four for Bull, the Mervai. Uh, but this is in their Garden Collection. This is the um, Un. Uh, I'm not even going to embarrass myself, but this is the Mediterranean Garden one. They have the uh, Sur Le Trois and they have the Sur Neil. The other ones, there's like three or four in that collection, but this is the Mediterranean one. This is the heaviest one in the collection. It is so fresh, so green. I just, I really love this. Oh my God. It's so, 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 so good. And just... It just reminds me of just, I don't know, like cleanliness and, and fresh and spring and summer. This is going to be my go-to fragrance for the summer. Um, it's just a really good fragrance. It's really unique, and if you ever get a chance to smell this fragrance, smell it because it's amazing. Now, I do have two things that I didn't like. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you the first one. It is the Fairy Drops Mascara. So many people, like, you know, basically are head over heels for this mascara they love it they swear by it i didn't like it and the reason i didn't like it is because it flaked terribly on me and i'm an oily person so when mascara flakes on me throughout the day like i'll wipe my face and i'll get like black streaks all over my face and i don't want that um especially when i'm running around like a crazy person at work i don't want to have to worry about black streaks all over my face or little flakes under my eyes so i'm kind of upset because this was like 30 dollars and i can't return it because i got into chinatown in new york so i'm like I don't know maybe if I put a primer underneath of it I don't know I'm gonna try to make it work but or use it on days where I'm maybe not working or doing too much but I don't like it um, the next thing the last thing that I don't like is the 
H2O sea salt hydrating body butter. I was trying to find um, a replacement for my Kiehl's creme de Corps lotion. Um, that lotion, when I buy it, I buy the one in the pump. Um, and it's like $50. It's really expensive and I go through it pretty fast because it's for my whole body. Uh, and I don't want to spend that much on lotion. So I'm trying to find something that is equal to it, that makes my skin feel as good, that has the same good ingredients. I don't want to put like a bunch of mineral oil on my body. I want something that's really going to give me deep hydration. So I'm like, oh, I'm at TJ Maxx and I've heard of H2O. It's a, supposed to be a really good brand. And I got this lotion thinking, okay, it's a body butter. It's going to be thick like the creme de corps. It's pretty big. It's eight fluid ounces. And it's only $7.99. I'm like, oh, $7.99? Ring that up. So I was like, okay, maybe it'll be good. And I don't like it. Like it doesn't really moisturize. Um, the smell is a little heavy too, but it doesn't really moisturize my skin the way that I need it to. It's okay lotion, but I have extremely dry skin on my body and, you know, for it to be like really soft the way that I want it to be and not, you know, dry. Um, the only thing that's been working is the creme de corps by Kiehl's. So if you guys have any suggestions on really good lotion, something that's really deep and hydrating, um, that has good ingredients in it, please let me know because I'm on the hunt for a good lotion. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go and get my expensive lotion. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video and unfavorites. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Um, check me out. Like, check me out on all my social media links. Um, I'm always on Instagram. I live on Instagram. I have my Facebook fan page. I'm trying to be more, you know, with that. I have my website, so check me out. Um, I would love for you to follow me on my other social media platforms and connect with you in other ways. Um, I think that's all I have to say for now. Um, thank you so much for watching, and... Oh, sweet tea is another favorite. Um, I will see you in the next video.